much for that boat. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I've had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? 
as long as I am needed. What did you mean when you said Freya was not exactly a guest of the Aesir? I meant by the time they burned him, he'd been a prisoner for some time. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Hmm? Know what? We'll finish this later. Hmm. Sure, I'm open. I'll put some herd on them. And now for the goddess. Big man. About time I had something to do. Family crest? I'll take them. Let's make something then. What's the witch of the woods need?
What is this? Ravens. The ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? And here I thought you were good with riddles. must have created these creatures. But how? I haven't the foggiest. They came after my time with them. But perhaps we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens we find. Are we off to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. We found a Hofgufa out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the Forbidden Sands. A Hofgufa? I haven't seen one since I was a child. Lead the way. Do you regret it, Mamir? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? I regret exchanging my life for my freedom. That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. Freya being burned by the Aesir mob. Well, obviously he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freya certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but... I do understand where his anger came from. Freya, the something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Dreamthur whispered to you? Who? Dreamthur. The son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. No more for now. Focus. <laughs> Go! 
You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier. If Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Now, if we could get back to the story of Printhur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Wait. Let us look this way. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half to pass. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing half -gifa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave! Ah! I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this half is free. This architecture... It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Light Wells creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. <laughs> No effect. Perhaps a different arrow. This kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd.
When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half-giffer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. More hive, but denser. Well, there you go. Left flank! Oh.
Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim, or so it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we?
I hope freeing these half goofers will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafkufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their life to their children. And without light, they will die. 
I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what choice I would make. <laughs> Almost there. to the surface then. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. Blacksmith, whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your story... What about my story? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better story. Now, don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He 
died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. Years we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. It's again. solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens?
That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. Knowing our luck, it'll be a bit of both.
a few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it a might be worth it. statue just... of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve, other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble.
The ring of crystal shards glow. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. In honor of the enlightened one, may his gift of light shine eternal. Ah, gift of light. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. Can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim, or Midgard even. Becky and Svana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. Turn to your story of Fiendsburg. You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. So off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. Enough talk for now. Be ready. A dawn bloom. You have an interest in botanicals now?
Another sleeping troll, courtesy of the dwarves. You know, Freyr loved to breed Gulan cubs in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. I wonder, how'd these two pups end up yoked to the sled? Ever ah! try flying in a sandstorm? I imagine Freyr showed the Dark Elves that Gulon could be trained to pull a plow. They must have found new uses for them once the sandstorm arrived. I imagine they're now bred to aid in traveling the surface.
Sigil arrows won't work on this. Yeah! 
say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. Yeah. That works. <laughs> Getting back to your story, Freya. You were forced to grant an audience after the building of Asgard's Wall, yeah? That's right. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name ah! was Primthor! He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. Another time. We must focus. Good enough. It's been a bit since we've unlocked a mysterious door. Excited, brother? Hmm. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> ah! A light elf statue in the desert. Odd. On top of ancient elven ruins? I'd have to agree. favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother. Why would I choose a favorite? What is that? A phantom! Throw the magic! Aim for the runic core! What the hell? Look at that thing! Oh, my God. 
Brother, the strings! Hurry! Not so intimidating without your springs, are you? <laughs> Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. It on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. That's all my brother's tributes. Do you prefer we hang on to them? Do what you will. If Freyr didn't bother taking them when he left Alfheim, he wouldn't mind us selling them to the dwarves. Archive of knowledge. No sign of the light elves. For now. Maybe they've left for the day. And we can browse at our leisure. Look here. Not enough to end the Elven War, but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye, quite the advantage for the Light Elves.
This book is sealed, but there is an inscription. Consul. Big Veer spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry, just sitting here, forgotten. What a waste. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. <laughs> 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 Shield strike! <laughs> <laughs> 
all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Faye passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. Getting back to your story, Freya. He you granted an audience to Finthur after he finished building Asgard's wall. What at long last? Did he whisper to you? Well. Not now. Something is coming, and it's not happy.
something is coming, and it's not happy. Something is coming, and it's not happy.
something is coming, and it's not happy. is mine, imprisoning a dream. Can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now.
Getting back to your story. <laughs> he granted an audience to Shreem Thur after he finished building Asgard's wall. What at long last did he whisper to you? Well, he said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. Enough. We will continue later. <laughs> Freya, if we might finish your story. How did Fiendthur intend to get revenge on the Aesir for killing his father? Did it have to do with Asgard's war? It did. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. I lost it. I hoped it might have given us another way. the ravens free their spirits somehow good to know free well free of odin's control anyway Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Hmm. That sucker, he owes me one. Thank me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow, but then he and Sindri got into it over something. What? Hello. Good to see the chimes working as intended. So, this whole spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. 
Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines. All part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? I think that's the long and short of it. Safe travels. Talks to squirrels now, huh? Well, come on, then. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joint's getting classier by the day. Can it be? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long, what you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you've suffered. Freya, I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Baldur. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So you're not here to prevent Ragnarok. You're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone, the way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. Not too shabby having a proper goddess around the house. Try to stay on her good side this time, why don't you? And Lady Freya? <laughs> the Ace here will be running scared. Make up your mind? Dream of anguish. I'll be damned.
And now for the goddess. What's it gonna be? Design, huh? Always love their style. Lots of curves. Can this lock be opened without damaging the book? The elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Brock never met no lock he couldn't lick. I'll get her open where it needs getting. Oh, Lunda sends her love, bless her spotted heart. <sighs> Mess some folks up. Oh. 
Hope you're feeling violent. She's no less majestic than the last day I saw her. What a thing I must be to look at. If you have business in other realms before speaking to your son, I'll join you. It's been so long since I could travel at will. better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets haunt every step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin, but I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Let go. Oh. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control.
afraid. Freezing cold, lots of Hellwalkers, definitely in Midgard. Helping me stay warm. <laughs> Gotta find some shelter. At least something out here doesn't want to kill me. Just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. That doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white?
first he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, line. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the corner. Find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Take control of this. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. <laughs> Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. <laughs> oh, no. Charlie? No. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie!
stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Buddy, I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Is this... Baldur's? Wonder how father was able to earn her forgiveness. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From around in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. 
Odin? Bird, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! You don't seem friendly. Jump up! here. Not a sign of Fimble winter. I better keep heading towards the wall. Could have led me around those. Stop! 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 
Well, this might be the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change Father's fate... What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy, anyway. from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. <sighs> Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Brock say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. There we go. Ah! 
Gonna need a better angle on that fire. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's... I can see this way, except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. <sighs> Not unless you're an Aesir god, but... I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit! Me too! I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you... all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh... All Father saved us from the desolation, gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You, you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. Need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. You know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Said nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Gilder, hope you're right. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. A white? Up here? How come? Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe. And... Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. How come? Are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides though. Uh. 
Get to fly. I'm doing what I can. <sighs> huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin, how about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki, who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Rimter's wall. So, what did Loki... So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Ah! Come on! Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So. What part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? 
Think you could pull me up, or...? <sighs> no, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. <sighs> yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? The Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of that. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. Oh. Done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea, I see. Oh, uh, <sighs> no. Just ask your questions already. How'd you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move, and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultopper, who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burnt. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not... The Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Framther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Uh. Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice gun. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do have to 
So I am not letting you anywhere near the altar. Do where I go. That's right. Show me all of your stupid little tricks. from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Is this all you got? How have you survived this long? Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? <laughs> I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, all father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? He Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, oh, my God. See, uh, Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. Oh. 
So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All Father. Queen Gana. The Ain Huyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huyar. They tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon thi nafen, Hrothgar. Moon thi nafen, Gorm. Moon thi nafen, Kiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jurgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that praised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK. But... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. <laughs> all right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, all father. Sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're draining puck pockets. You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Uh, 
Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you, confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and, of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. I guess I could try this on. It has less mud on it anyway. Nice! Whoa, I can use this. Huh, nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Through Thor's Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. A 
Someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did. Why does he want him here? Mom, come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. Maybe I'll get her. Sorry about her. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? No, there isn't. What a roundabout way to commit suicide that would be. Please do not involve me in your pathetic attempts to impress one another. Huh? Come on. You haven't had enough Heimdall in your day? Let's go. Except more politely, I'd assume. Except considerably more politely. Listen, whatever Grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Change your mind? I'm coming. Don't run off. I don't want to get in trouble if you disappear. Catch you later. Yes, I, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Ah. You see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and, and, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? You, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk.
Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. Or more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Smolder. Obsidian Ispitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep. Working with me, and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Uspahan. The rest of the mask is here. It's where our father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? What the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms? Let's see what Loki in that shiny toothpick is. Oh, Ingrid! Nice move! Alka! Slow going, Ash. You could maybe help. 
Check. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. No, what else? Roll you? I want to check here real quick. Well, this isn't the right way. Oh, wow. Is that some kind of anvil? Keep moving. Come on. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you... Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Salmor, Ronan, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could- Don't play me. Welcome. I wouldn't worry about this now.
Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. So where's the mask saying? Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She hey, seemed... Hey, come look at this. Thor, what the... Ah! Wait, Surtur Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. <sighs> the trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you and do to do together. First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. Don't bother to get it. An ogre! Worry? Not in the slightest. <laughs> Another ogre? Ah! <laughs> 
The All Fathers waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on! Give me a challenge! Now take it to that shrine. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the Ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. That's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. Alpha! Can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Ah! 